if you're in, working in the local area, if you care about the Berkshires, if you want to have a bigger impact, this is an amazing opportunity. It's the question of what is the future going to look like for my children, for the children in my neighborhood. We're all facing the fact that the Earth's systems are changing dramatically right now. The work that we need to do right now, all hands on deck, is how can we support life? How can we support ecosystems and human systems? What's been most valuable to me is just the fellowship to get to know people who are all striving towards a similar goal in terms of creating a future that's, you know, respectful of the environment and, and is a good place for our, our children. Being in a, a place with other people who share that objective and feeling comfortable there and trusting in that space has been the biggest thing for me. I kind of think of um, our local relationships in the region, you know, very much like we, we are now thinking about the mycelium networks in the forest. Our ancestors have always been able to, if they stay close to nature, be more resilient. We're on lands that were previously lived on by other people and how can that inform us in living in better harmony with the land that we are currently stewards of. The climate leadership journey is here to channel our sense of urgency into powerful strategic partnerships and initiatives. The mission of our growing coalition is deeply personal. We're dedicated to building regenerative solutions in the Berkshires. Yeah, go learn about it and be proud. Do you know how frequently dead rivers are brought back to life in major urban areas? It's pretty damn awesome. In 2025, we're inviting mission-driven business professionals, nonprofit and faith-based leaders, community change makers, including youth and elders, to partner with us. Together, we're building an all-hands-on-deck, cross-sector, multi-stakeholder, systems-thinking approach to building climate resilience and preparedness in our Berkshires bioregion. It's been a vision for 20 years of having a passion for social movements. What I like about this approach is that it's, it's local, it's regional, it's grassroots, and I think that's the way forward when we're talking about remembering how to be caretakers of our lands and work in collaboration with the more than human world again. So I think what's been super helpful are some of like the frameworks and the resources, like the literal maps. The basic idea is this. If you look at, a, at the earth as types of ecosystems, which is what this map shows. You know, and it can be really isolating doing work as an organization. Um, and feeling like it's just you, but it's not, it's not just you, you know, we have so many people in this region. Rooted in a deep respect for indigenous wisdom and a commitment to relationship with tribal communities, by joining our cohort journey, you'll experience a deepening sense of connection, belonging, and solidarity within a network of partners who care deeply about the future of our communities and bioregion. This work is about embodying a quality of leadership that expands your potential and perspective while bringing about systemic change. My vision goes much farther beyond my tiny business. So this felt like the opportunity to expand into that vision more. The um, ideas that I hear and the um, exchanges that I've had are ones that I don't think I would hear anywhere else. Our curated online climate leadership curriculum brings together the best hearts and minds of global thought leadership.
Through the ancient ways of sitting in circle, you will remember the palpable feeling that your voice matters. There's lots of research that say having a number of touch points over a long period of time builds that muscle of follow through. Our cohort leadership journey offers monthly continuity of learning and collaboration through the seasonal cycle of the year with in-person retreats and virtual circles. In phase one, we support you to listen deeply, to plant your feet solidly on the ground, deepening your wellness and leadership capacity. In phase two, you discover new bandwidth to champion climate priorities in your organization and your sphere of influence. With this foundation, phase three empowers you to design and initiate your chosen climate breakthrough project. It's a project that is currently impossible. In other words, it's not possible in our current reality and we work to make it possible. When the program ends, our alumni network welcomes you into an ongoing community of practice that continually convenes meaningful conversations and initiatives. I, I just come away energized every time I meet with this group. If you want a hopeful, positive way to work with others for our world and the environment, this is a great place to do it. I think it's the, the, really the wave of the future that we see more council-led organizations. I mean, that really is the thing that holds human communities together. It's what gets us through hard times is our, our relationships with others. Join us and leverage your experience and dedication so you can make the profound impact you're longing to make. Together, we can ensure a resilient and regenerative future by building a legacy of commitment to the generations to come.